So the project for today is some marker lights. How to install them, start to finish, try to help you guys out. First thing you need is a truck. Here's my beauty. It's a work in progress. I've got these. They're smoked out black. Should look pretty nice. All said and done. You're going to need your lights. You're going to need a drill. You're going to need a tape measure. You're going to need a marker. You're going to need a pliers or wire snips. You need tape, both regular masking tape and electrical tape. You're going to need your wires. You need wired connectors, a voltage meter, a real basic set of tools, mainly screwdriver, some clear silicone, cigarettes and lighter, and music. Real simple tools. First things first, I go inside, pull the headliner out. Real easy. All you gotta do, two screws there, one on the other side. Drop the center, same with the other headliner, or the visor. Take the pillar mounts out, and the whole thing will drop down. So I got the headliner down. I got, I just threw my pillars down, they're wired. I don't want to disconnect it. All you need is enough to where you can get up and in there. Use your hands. I don't feel like taking it all the way down. You could if you wanted to, but just enough to where, you know, it's good. And, dangly that way when you drill you're not drilling through your headliner then you got enough room to get your hand up and in there grab the wires to feed them over so once you get the headliner out your next step is you're going to run tape across the top i use green because it sticks out a lot better so i can see what i'm doing this is going to do two things one it's going to allow you to draw on your truck without ruining the paint and two as you're drilling through the holes it'll help it from ruining your paint once you get this up, what you're going to do is throw your lights on wherever you want, measure them out, figure it out where you like them, and then draw a template. Okay, so I got my templates drawn. I try to keep it as clean as possible for you guys. Remember, you only get one shot of this, so double check all your measurements. It's pretty nice because I got to use my body lines for my spacing. Also, all I had to really do is find center on all of them. And Go up. I did it from the top of the windshield because it's the only flat spot where you can push the tape measure up to. So now you just drill them. Once it's drilled, you can remove the tape and start mounting them. Okay, so the tape's off, holes are drilled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my silicone and each one, I'm going to silicone right around these wires and then I'm going to feed the wires through. Now it seals that there. And then before I put my screws in the mount, I'm going to silicone in the holes to screw that. Then afterwards, you're going to seal the bottom side too. You don't want any water to get in there. Okay, so I got all the lights mounted up there. They look good in center. Let's see if I can get it for you. They're a little bigger than I would have liked, but they're all LEDs. So it just would have been nice to have something a little more low pro, but, but you can look from the side. I offset them all. They should be. Now, all you gotta do is connect all the wires together, silicone it, run the wiring down, and you most likely want it into your running lights. So I'm hoping I can do, I can just tap in to here, so that way, whenever my lights come on, those come on. Well, that's it, guys. She's all put back together. Everything works good, works flawlessly. I'll, t I'll show you a little later once it gets dark what it looks like. I could not end up tapping into here. The wires are too small. There wasn't enough power fed through them. Then there's a sticker that says don't tap into these. Um, what I did is I ended up going into the fuse panel down there. Mine's over there. And then I used my, my voltage meter thing, the little identification light, and found a good accessory wire and I just split into that. And then I ground it up in the pillar. There's a ground bolt grounded there. So, project's all done. It did take me quite a few hours, but at the same time, it's nothing you want to hurry with. You only get one real shot at it. Show you my truck quick. And while I was doing it, I had a nice little surprise in the mail. Any F-150 EcoBoost, people are gonna appreciate this. Like that. Boom. 
Well, and there you have it. It's the final product. Looks pretty good. It's cheap add on, a lot of time, but only 25 bucks. I think it makes the whole truck look, look a little bigger, a little better. Okay, guys, any questions? Keep put the comments in the bottom and see if I can answer them for you. Have a good one.